When you're rolling old school with your oil water separator and forget to clean it, or you're reminded but decide to blow it off and kick cleaning it down the road, three things happen. First, with no oil sensor or alarm, oil silently overloads the oil water separator, and then all that oil heads right down the sewer. It's an oil spill you and your staff don't even know about because it's happening underground. That's not sales hype, that's Stokes Law. And if you slept through high school science class, in layman's terms, it's oil pollution. So, you have an oil water separator that you don't clean often enough, and it's sending oil down the sewer system. That's a bitter pill to swallow, especially if you're a fan of baked Lake Erie walleye, deep fried yellow perch, or grilled trout. All three of those, by the way, already have consumption advisories. But hey, maybe you're a meat lover, not a fish fan. All that water you're drinking comes from the Lake Erie watershed. And here's some food for thought. It takes just one quart of oil to contaminate two million bottles of water. The second thing that happens when you forget to clean your oil water separator is your shop starts smelling like a raging case of swamp ass. And finally, sludge overloads the system and drains back up. So here's the vision. Get your oil water separator cleaned more often by one of our big ass trucks. The question now, is once a year often enough? That depends, but probably not. But that's a question for another video. So, stop forgetting to get your oil water separator sucked. Stop with the oil pollution, the raging case of swamp ass and backed up drains. And while we're at it, stop forgetting to retain those EPA records for three years. The sewer district folks will want to see those records too. We're gonna to take care of all that for you. Where rice oil sucks, big ass trucks, ample hose, and we suck sludge. <laughs>